If you use the Elgato Stream Deck or Touch Portal, you know it can do a lot of really cool things. You can have all kind of effects going on, transitions, multiple things going on. Today I want to talk to you about if you are the kind of streamer that uses sources in multiple different scenes, then we're going to try to clean that up, make it neat, and uh, make it easier and show you how we can do some really cool stuff with it. Uh, if you ever want to talk about this live, um, every Monday and Wednesday at 7 p.m., I'm live on Twitch. You can come over. Uh, if you see something that I do there, ask me about it. If you see something on this video that I didn't talk about and you want to know how to do it, we can talk about it there. You're always welcome. Now let's get to it. We're going to hop over and look at my OBS, and uh, I'm going to show you my folders and what sources I have in them and why I do the things that I do. And uh, hopefully it'll help you out. It's been really easy for me and makes things really cool and a lot less buttons that you have to have on your stream deck or your touch portal this is going to work with both so uh let's head over to the desktop now and i'm going to show you exactly what we got going on now there's a lot of times uh if you use multiple scenes like i do I, this is i'm totally rebuild my obs so there's going to be more to come I like to use overlays a lot so I mean you know if something funny or something happens or whatever I've got an overlay for it that I like to play um, playing Apex you have a ragey moment you know and and I'll play something like you know like Rambo you know like that um, it's kind of cool anyways so for my overlays I have a, a scene here that says overlays right so we're gonna click on it and you see I have all my overlays right here. They're all in here. Now you'll see that they're all hidden right now. That's because we've told Touch Portal, I use Touch Portal. You can do this on Elgato Stream Deck also. I've told Touch Portal to leave these all hidden until I trigger them myself. So all the overlays are here. Now I use mirrored sources also. Uh, if we take a look at this, this scene right here, the background of this scene is actually my desktop. But it's got a blur effect on it so we have that and let's go back over here again and i have my mirrored sources so all my mirrored sources that i have if i'm playing a game and i go to my just chatting then i have the game in the background and it's blurred if it's uh if i'm showing you my desktop i have the desktop back there and it's blurred uh or if i'm streaming from the ps4 i have my elgato and it's blurred so it's always going to be whatever i'm doing on stream if it's the display if it's a game on PC or if it's a game on PS4, it'll always be blurred in the background of this right here. So, what else do we have? We have Cam 1 is always going to be on its own. I have a scene just for the camera. That way I can add it and mirror it. Uh, we have another camera for when we're playing PlayStation 4 and I'm looking at a completely different TV so that way you're just not looking at the back of my head. The PS4 has its own scene. Um, then all, everything that I would have on full screen, like this is a full screen scene right here for my desk for display. So you have my camera and the desktop display going on. So I have all my full screens here. So there's you see the Elgato. Uh, it says Layers of Fear, but that's like the PC game, and then the display. So I have all that stuff going on. So when I'm in my just chatting, I have three buttons for just chatting. I have my chatting with the display, I have a chatting for the game, and a chatting for the PS4. So depending on what we're doing, we go to one of those three buttons. Now also, when I go down to the smaller ones, I have the full screen display here, which will take you there. Then I have a full screen game and a full screen PS4. So depending on what we're doing, we go to those scenes. Now with those six buttons right there, I can control everything right there. It changes everything so like i said when we're here the display is in the background and it's blurred for you know just kind of a cool little effect i like it you can do whatever you want but it'll change for game ps4 or display whichever one i choose that i want to go to so the easiest way to do all that is to have these folders set up the way that i have them now when you create scenes you can add scenes to scenes so so when we go here You'll be able to see, uh, this is my touch portal and this is my buttons and how they're set up. So, as I said, I've got three for chatting. Chatting display, chatting game, chatting PS4. Um, I'll show you the chatting display. When I click on that, this is for when you're looking at my monitor. Um, 
I tell it to go to the chatting scene. Chatting scene has everything that I need. I'll tell OBS to show my display and I'll tell it to hide my Elgato and to hide my PC game. So that's as simple as that, really. And then when you go back and you click on chatting game, it's the same thing, but it says show the game, hide the Elgato and hide my monitor. And when we go to let's see here, full screen display, it goes to the full screen display. It says to show my monitor, hide the Elgato, hide the game and so on and so forth. So that's how that all works. Now for my overlays that I trigger, remember we were talking about the overlays, right? We like the overlays because they're pretty fun. The reason that bad things happen to you is because you're a dumb Things like that. Now, in order to get this to work and everything, we had to do the, we had to create a scene and put all our overlays, all our sources in that one scene and then put that scene within every other scene that we want to use it. So, when we look at that, I tell, I tell it to show the overlays. Okay, it goes to the overlays scene and I tell it to show the mad dog overlay. Now, we have to tell it to wait for 3,000 milliseconds, which is how long the clip plays. And then after that 3,000 milliseconds, it tells it to hide that source again. So you can show and hide sources within your touch portal or your stream deck. And it goes back to normal. Now, another thing that I did is uh, I do have the chatting stinger button here. When you see me, uh, when you see that, we'll start off usually with, uh, let's see here. I'll have a, uh, let's see, I just started the stream up and we're on the starting soon screen, right? So we're sitting here and I'll usually have some music playing or whatever. And um, I don't use an intro right now. So, but when I'm ready to come on camera, I'll just hit the chatting stinger button. Boom. Stinger plays and now we're at here. Now, am I gonna be showing you my desktop gaming or PS4ing? At that point, I make the decision and I'll choose the chatting display. So it's really easy to have all that set up. From here, then we can use the, the, the other buttons to switch back and forth to wherever we need to go. Um, so I also have a be right back screen. Um, when I, I have it set as a stinger also. So when I hit the be right back, it'll do a stinger. And that'll play. Uh, one moment, please. And so when I come back, I can do the stinger again to get back to where we were. And then I can bring back in the display. And there it is. So it's like really cool stuff like that. Instead of having the same stinger for every scene switch that I do, or when I don't need one more importantly, uh, I started using this move. Now we'll probably do a video on that. There's, there's a couple of videos out already about it, uh, but I might do it just so you can learn it from me. But uh, I learned it from uh, Nutella Forever. Nutty. Nutty is a great, great guy. He's up and coming on YouTube and he's teaching everybody a bunch of really cool things. Um, so, you know, between between Nutty uh, and a couple of things that I've grabbed from uh, the Alpha Gaming, uh, Nutty's got some really cool stuff and he's very, he tells you everything, how to, how to do it, you know. Um, you might have to watch the video a couple of times because some of it's not that easy. But this is how you set it up. You might need to watch this video a few times. If I miss something, like I said, come into Twitch and ask me about it. Um, I can take the time on stream and show you. I don't mind. I love talking about it. Um, I'm not a big streamer. I don't have a lot of people in the chat bothering me. So, you know, uh, feel free to come in. Feel free to tell me what you think about it. If you got questions, ask whatever it is. And uh, we can get you doing some really cool things. Let's put your stream deck and your touch portal to work. Like, subscribe, um, share, things like that. Whatever you want to do, I don't know. This is always such an awkward part of the video. I mean, we just really need to find a way to end it, right? So maybe we should just... back and do that all over again because we should have been here the whole time oh my god